There was a time in my life when I didn't know where our next meal was coming from or where we were going to live or what we were going to do. And now I run a business that earns six figures a year, helping people in that exact situation find what they need to improve their lives. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Hi, I'm Nicole from LowIncomeRelief.com, where we help millions of Americans save money and get free stuff. Today I want to talk to you about what Low Income Relief is, how we got started, and why we do what we do. But to tell you that story properly, we're gonna to have to go all the way back to 2007, when my husband was medically discharged from the United States Army, and we found ourselves living on the wrong coast with no income and no clue what we were gonna do next. This wasn't the life that we had planned. When he enlisted in the Army, we had planned on stable income and endless adventures in different areas of the world. We had orders to go to Germany and we were in the process of getting a passport and we were both really excited for all of the things that awaited us there. Unfortunately, life had other plans and this injury ended his military career very quickly and we ended up not having any life plan for what was going to happen next. Since my husband's job in the Army had been technology based, it made sense to go back home to Washington State and try to get a job in the Seattle area where a lot of those great tech jobs are. So we drove about 3,000 miles back across the country, um, back home to Washington, and started to put our lives back together. It was difficult because we were coping with all of these disabilities and these issues that we hadn't had to deal with before, and we weren't quite sure what to do with that. There was a lot of appointments, there was a lot of medications, and a lot of struggle in those years. Um, but it didn't take us very long after the discharge to get jobs and to start putting the pieces back together. Um, unfortunately, housing in the King County area in Washington is insane. And coming by move-in expenses, um, with both of us working minimum wage jobs, was exceptionally difficult. And we couldn't stay with family for very long. They just couldn't, they couldn't keep us for very long. So we ultimately faced an impossible challenge. We had two weeks to find housing or we were going to be on the streets. I panicked. I could not even imagine what that would look like with the three of us trying to live in a car or a shelter or trying to figure that out or how we would keep our jobs in that situation. And I, I panicked. So I drew on my previous experience as a journalist and I went to the library and I just knew that there had to be something. There had to be some solution to this problem. So I spent 12 hour days at the library looking for resources and for help. And it was the first time in my life that I paid attention to words like affordable housing or section eight. Because I think when you're financially okay, those things just don't matter. They just kind of float past you and you don't understand how important they are. And I had never really noticed that before. But in that moment of need, I was astonished by the amount of help that I was able to find. And ultimately, within just a few days, I was able to contact a half a dozen agencies and three of them pledged, um, pledged money toward move-in expenses. And I found a low-income housing complex not too far from my work. And we were able to move in with minimal out-of-pocket expenses. We just had to come up with the first month's rent and the security deposit and the application fee, all of that stuff was dealt with for us so that we could make this work. And it was shocking and it was wonderful and it was absolutely amazing to me. After that experience, my husband and I were able to go on and build a life that we absolutely love. But we needed that help so desperately in that moment. And over the years, I encountered a lot of people who were in really difficult situations like that. And I was able to use that experience and the knowledge I'd gained to be able to find resources to help them in their situations. Because once you know where to find that information, it's not as hard to go back and find more, but it can be hard to know where to look the first time. And eventually, in 2013, I realized that I would be able to help more people more efficiently if I put this information on a website that was easy to use, easy to find, and that's how Low Income Relief got started. I firmly believe that getting the right help at the right time can completely change someone's life. It can change their entire future. My family is living proof of that. 
without the help we received in 2007, we wouldn't have gone on to build this business in 2013. I would not be where I am today without that experience and the help we received exactly when we needed it the most. That's a very real life example of what I want low income relief to accomplish for each one of you. I know what a difference it makes to get the right help at the right time. And that's our goal, to be able to get you the help that you need when you need it the most. Our site serves millions of people every year with information about the benefits, programs, and resources in their local communities. We update our content constantly, and we are constantly researching new programs and adding new material to help as many people as we can. It's my hope that you'll check out our website and check back often to see what we've found that might be able to help you in your specific circumstances. When it comes to the revenue from the website, we are not trying to get rich or to build a big business and sell it. Um, we are trying to build a brand that you know that you can trust so that you know where to find this information when you need it. We've had six and seven figure offers for this business already and we have no intention of selling out. We do use the revenue that we receive to pay for rock star writers like Chloe who are constantly researching and adding information to the website. And for assistants like Riley, who go through and personally respond to everyone who reaches out in need. And it is our great privilege and honor to serve you. And we love to know that we are helping you overcome the challenges that you're facing in your lives. We love this work and we love helping you. And I hope that we have been of assistance to you. I hope you'll take a moment to subscribe to our channel and maybe visit our website at lowincomerelief.com. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It is our great privilege to serve you. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.